Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code ZERK for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Season 3 is here, the playoffs promo is here as well, and I'm going to go over what you guys should be doing right now in the game. Now, I do want to give a shout out to John Danelli for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, shout out to you guys that have the Justin Herbert special, half a completion for signing up on Underdog and using code ZERK. We do have the NFL games tomorrow. We have a bunch of them. Check out my Twitter because I will be having some NFL picks picks up over there you guys can copy do the opposite whatever you want to do but check out underdog fantasy use code zerk it'll match first deposit up to hundred dollars so let's talk about what you guys should be doing first in season three so number one the very first thing that i recommend you guys go ahead and do right now uh and this is also because i told you guys on monday you probably shouldn't do this is now that we have season three head on over to the competitive pass you guys can see i have not touched like a single thing in here and come on over to sets and get these sets done because sometimes it's very very rare but it can happen when you do these sets number one they're very very easy to go ahead and do but number two it can glitch and literally give you everything it happens to a very very small amount of people but some people will literally end up getting all the coins all the packs the travis cdn all the xp whatever make sure you guys get that done first now also i do just want to say if you're curious as to why my levels are so low that's because i am literally recording this video pretty much right after i did my morning video and i'm currently on vacation right now so if i'm not as active in the comment section or on social media right now that's why but then the next thing you guys want to do is come on over to season three the fuel pass and make sure you guys get this done every single day do your daily objectives they're very very easy purchase a pack literally go buy any pack in the store okay it could be the daily get a gold strategy item anything complete a set i'll show you guys which set to do i've been doing it every single day to get my daily objectives done and then also record 200 offensive yards the set that i do i have to scroll all the way down to do it but also don't forget to do this the season 3 xp token exchange if you guys already have the season 3 xp token make sure you exchange it you don't want your xp which unfortunately as i said guys i am recording this video like pretty much right after everything just dropped the servers are being extremely slow but the set that i do is just the core gold to core rookie exchange it's the easiest one you have to scroll down quite a bit to find it but it's very very easy to do and then as to the 200 offensive yards an easy solo to do go to team of the week week two standouts and chat out your sink open on one star you start off at the five yard line just chuck up a streak 95 yards every time oh something else though that you guys really want to keep in mind is back to the season three field pass here keep in mind all of these that you're trying to get done with the stats right to get a bunch of xp to level this up so you can get all these good players scoring touchdowns uh, in any mode pass yards those solo challenges yeah those count for pass yards by the way and then also rush yards which ties in perfectly to the playoff from we'll talk about that in a second uh recording tackles and then you have the dailies as well but really these like touchdowns pass yards rush yards i just showed you a very very easy way to score touchdowns and also how to get the pass yards the rushing one you can do as well in that solo but let me make sure you guys are knocking out your dailies but also just keep in mind your season three pass uh, and what stats you're gonna be working on but you also really really want to pay attention to the playoffs right because the playoffs number one predictor tokens okay these are really really important that you guys get your levels up very very fast here and use these predictor tokens because they expire very soon so as you guys can see in the objectives here playing the solo challenges you absolutely want to do that very very quickly here because there's a lot of predictor tokens uh you can get xp for this field pass as well and then stats win five games with three plus playoff players in your lineup record interceptions rush yards with a playoffs play in your lineup this may seem kind of hard but it's really not all you guys need to do is go ahead and pick up the lowest overall possible playoff player you don't have to get a 96 you don't have to get a higher overall whatever just get one of the low elites throw them into your lineup at like backup wide receiver or backup lineman whatever and then rush for 3,000 yards 
do that solo that I just showed you. The team of the week, week two, Chad Ochocinco. It doesn't say pass for 95 yards or pass for 80 yards. It literally just says gain 80 plus yards on this drive. So just run the ball. It's a one star, easy solo, 95 yards per time. Knock it out pretty quick. And then we also have sets. But here's the thing with these sets. It's actually really, really easy uh, to knock these out with the playoff sets because the predictor tokens count. For the sets and as well we also have a head-to-head -head ones and then as i said when you get done with your daily you also get 800 playoff xp so make sure you're doing your daily challenges as i said definitely make sure you guys are knocking out your solos because the playoff past and the playoff present not only give you guys xp but look at all the predictor tokens game predictor tokens here a ton of them you also get an 86 plus overall playoff player and then the playoff present again more predictor tokens which you do need to do those sets by saturday so this video is going to fry Friday, you have one day. As I said, guys, you only have one day to go ahead and get those tokens to use them for the wild card round because these sets all expire at 3 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. So that's like your last chance to do them. Now, you might say, well, that's pretty ridiculous if you have to go through, play the solos, get done with your fuel pass, and then you have those tokens. You have to get them by Saturday. I would imagine that you're going to be able to use the tokens. Like, let's say that you guys don't actually get through here uh, to do any of these other sets. I would imagine you're going to be able to use them later on, like down the road. Because even the Monday Night Football ones, these expire at Saturday at 3 p.m. So you have to lock them all in by then. But if you have like extras, we'll probably be able to use them for the next round of the playoffs. But absolutely, you need to make sure that you're getting done with the playoff game predictors. And then as you guys are leveling up your field pass, your playoff field pass, your regular field pass as well, don't forget, you're going to get playoff player predictor tokens as well which again you need to get these sets done you guys can see your sets will expire on the 14th at 3 p.m eastern so this is also something you guys need to get done with quickly now the tokens right for these i think once these are gone these are gone but i would hopefully say that if you don't get like some of the playoff predictor tokens by the time the wild card games start whatever you'll be able to use them for the next round that's a hope which, by the way, by the time this video gets posted, make sure you check out my videos from yesterday because I should have already uploaded the video going over the best predictor set tokens to do and the best playoff predictor player sets to do. Well, that's pretty much everything you guys need to attack right now before things start to expire. The sets with the playoff promo, especially with the predictor tokens and the predictor players have to be top priority for you guys to get done. And then once you guys are kind of cruising through that, and then you can start to pay attention a little bit more to the stat objectives you're trying to get done with season three and also on the playoff promo, uh, playoff promo field pass and the competitive field pass to get that XP and try to work your way towards Gronkowski. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below and let me know what do you guys think about season three? What do you think about the playoff promo? And uh, hopefully, hopefully the next round of the playoff promo is pretty good. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.